Hello, this is the second tutorial for trigonometric ratios and this is 96B, we did 96A in class. And uh, this is very important here. Uh, once you get to the classroom, I'm going to remind you, you need to make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. And uh, don't forget this, this will help you uh, remember what you need to use when you're given a problem, either sine, cosine, tangent, and then just know that uh, if it's sine, it's opposite over hypotenuse, which is uh, what's shown here. Cosine, you have the adjacent and the hypotenuse, so that's adjacent over hypotenuse. And toa, it's uh, tangent is opposite over adjacent, okay? So go ahead and write this down on the, the next uh, page in your foldable. And I'm going to flip this open. And for the sake of time, I, I have everything written down, the two examples that I'm going to give you. Uh, so what I'm doing here is um, we're going to use strict ratios to find the value of x and a. Uh, I forgot this is we're going to have x and a on the next two examples, okay? So the first example, we're given this right triangle here. And that right triangle is triangle ABC. And uh, the first thing we need to notice is what are we given in relation to the angle? This is the angle of reference. So we're looking at this triangle from angle A. And the angle, we're given that angle measure, that's angle A. The measure of angle A is 41. So in relation to this angle, we can see that X is the opposite side. And this one here is opposite to the hypotenuse. So um, this, this side is opposite to the, to the right angle, so this is the hypotenuse. So we know we have the hypotenuse and the opposite side. So remember, I wrote this here just to help us uh, see which one we're, go we're going to use. So we have opposite and hypotenuse. Uh, opposite and hypotenuse, that means we're going to use sine, okay? If what we have is opposite and hypotenuse, we have to use sine. So then we set up the proportion, which says that sine of the angle, so sine, in this case, sine of angle A, which is 41 degrees, we have a value for the angle, we have an angle measure, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite is x, so x goes on top, and... Um, hypotenuse goes on the bottom, so x over 11. Now, we have done this before uh, in class. Where we, this is just a proportion so that you can see it. Just write a 1 under that sine 41, and then we cross multiply, okay? So then we have 11 times sine 41. It's simply 11 sine 41 uh, equals x. Once you're uh, here, just enter that in your calculator, Okay, and I'll do this in class. I know you can't see it that one in the, in the camera, but it's 11 sine 41. So I'm going to do 11, 11, and then there's the sine button. So 11 sine 41, and I, en I uh, pr press enter, and I get 7.26. So I'm going to say x is 7 point, this is 6, so I'm going to round that one up to a 2. So 7.22. So we know x equals, or it's approximately 7.22. 22, so two decimal places, okay? So that's the value of x. Now, the next example, we need to find the value of a, so that's this side here. Again, let's pay attention to what we're given. We're given this angle measure, so in relation to the angle, what we're given is the opposite side, so this is OPP, and a is adjacent, okay? So we have the opposite and the adjacent. So then, if we have the opposite and the adjacent, we have a or, or O and A, so this has O and H, so we cannot use sine. This is A and H. We don't have H. We're not given the hypotenuse. We're given opposite and adjacent, so that means we're going to use tangent, okay? So that will be tangent of the angle, which is 38 degrees. Tangent of 38 equals tangent is opposite over adjacent, okay? So opposite is 7, so this is 7 over adjacent, that's A. And then we do the same as we did on the previous example. We're going to cross multiply. It's a proportion, so we just cross multiply. Now this one has uh, two, two steps, or has a few more steps than the previous one. But uh, hopefully you can follow what, what I'm about to do here. So then we just multiply tangent 38 times A, so this becomes A tangent 38 equals 1 times 7. That's 7. Now, remember, we're solving for a. Our variable is a. So we divide by whatever is next to our variable. So that's 10 gen of, tangent of 38. 
on both sides of the equation. Okay, so then we just enter this in your calculator. So A is going to be approximately, so this is uh, 7 divided by, there's the tangent button, the angle is 38 degrees, enter 38. So our, uh, A, the value of A is approximately 8.959, so we can make that 5 a 6, so 8.96. So A is approximately 8.96 units, okay? So those are two examples I'm doing. Uh, you're going to need to know how to do this in class tomorrow because that's what the assignment, the back of the assignment that we started working on um, Thursday uh, is about. Okay, we're done with the front part. Now we need to do the back. I'll see you guys in the classroom. Um, if you have any questions, there are plenty of videos and tutorials on, on uh, YouTube on trigonometry. You can uh, watch some tutorials so that you get some more practice, okay? See you then. Bye-bye.